Okay, Assalamualaikum and uh, uh, good morning. Okay, so for uh, today subtopic, okay, we will learn okay on how to construct okay uh, dichotomous keys to classify organism. Okay, and I think. Uh, you already learned this in chat in uh, form two. Okay, construct means uh, membina. Okay, dichotomous key usually have uh, two sentences to classify. Okay, untuk mengelaskan organism. Okay, organism adalah benda-benda yang hidup lah. Okay, tak kisah lah. Uh, Haiwan, animal, okay, bacteria, dan apa saja benda yang hidup. Okay. So first, okay, we need to know, okay, uh, what is the function of dichotomous key. Okay. So the first point. So dichotomous key is a tool used by Taxonomist, okay. Taxonomist ni adalah uh, salah satu pekerjaan ataupun dalam bidang biologi, okay. Di mana mereka ini akan classify, okay. Akan identify organism berdasarkan dia punya physical characteristics, okay. Selalunya dia berbeza dengan Uh, genetesis ataupun ahli genetik. Okay, ahli genetik dia lebih tengok kepada perbezaan dari segi uh, kromosom. Tetapi uh, taxonomist is uh, more on appearance, more on the physical appearance of certain organism. Okay. Okay, one way. Okay, actually there are many ways. Okay, and one way to uh, build a dichotomous key, okay, is by using a series of couplets. Okay, couplets ni adalah satu couplets. Okay, dia akan ada dua statement ataupun dua sentences. Okay. Ada banyak cara ya tak semestinya kita boleh kita nak kena guna couplet kita boleh juga buat uh, flow chart. Okey asalkan ada menunjukkan perbezaan antara satu organism dan organism yang lain jadi kita boleh uh, dikira sebagai dichotomous key. Okey so let's take a look. Okey first thing first okey how to Uh, construct. Okay, if you are a given a set of organism, so the first thing first is you must identify the obvious and observable features of the characteristic. Okay, on a on the piece of paper. Okay, try to name the organism. And their characteristic, their unique characteristic, okay, yang tak ada pada organism yang lain, okay, okay, write two sentences and their clue, okay, such as go to number two at the end of each sentence, okay, if there is no more. Okay, distinguishable features. You can write down the organism name at the end of the sentence. Okay, maksudnya di hujung sentence bila dah, dah tak ada perbezaan yang ketara, yang unik untuk satu-satu organism tersebut, barulah kamu boleh tulis dia punya uh, nama organism tersebut itulah. 
Okay, so kita tengok uh, contoh. Okay, so now uh, let's try to construct a dichotomous skin. Okay, as you can see on the screen. Okay, how many organisms do you see? Okay, very good. Okay, there are five organisms. So it's very easy. Okay, the first thing first. Okay, you must okay identify okay and write down the name of the organism first okay for example okay you have uh, elephant okay shark okay everyone knows this is a shark okay with the shark teeth cactus which is predominantly found in the Desert, okay, orchid, okay, so I think you want to orchid. And the last one, do you know what is the name of the organism? Yes, correct, uh, it is a uh, insect, okay, but all insect. So the name of organism is a praying man. This. Okay, you can Google. Okay, after you identify the name for each organism, okay, there are five elephant, shark, cactus, orchid, and uh, praying mantis. So, the second thing that you must do is try to state, okay, try to write down the they are distinct, okay? Characteristic yang membezakan antara satu sama lain. Okay, contoh banyaklah. Tak semestinya yang saya tulis ni kamu nak guna. Kamu boleh guna juga uh, karakteristik yang lain. Okay, for example, elephant. Okay, saya pilih dia ada long trunk. Okay, dia ada belalai yang panjang tapi tak semestinya kamu nak kena guna long trunk okey kamu boleh guna dia ada big ears for example ataupun ada thick skin for example ataupun ada four legs okey it's up to you okey for example sharp okey i choose to state the characteristic has sharp teeth Okay, because it is very obvious on the picture, has a very sharp teeth, so that's why I choose to write sharp teeth. But you can also write another characteristic, okay, you can also write um, live underwater, for example, or have gills, okay, ada insang. Okay, cactus. Okay, has many thorns. Okay, it's very obvious. Okay. Okay, orchid. Ah, orchid ni color dia purple. Okay, you can simply write down has a purple flower. So, it is up to you. It, it, it based on your characteristic. As long as the characteristic is not overlapping with one another. Okay, selagi karakteristik tu tak ada pada organism yang lain. Mesti unik untuk satu-satu organism. Okay, and the last one has many legs. Pregnantis. Very simple. Okay. Okay, so now kita dah list dia punya nama, organism dan characteristics. So next step is to write down the couplets. Okay, the two uh, statements ataupun sentences. 
So very simple. So the early sentences usually usually we will try to classify or separate the organism based on their major characteristic. Okay, yang paling senang sekali kita nak tengok. Okay, for example, uh, animals and plants. Okay, ataupun, the, there is the most easiest one. Okay, animals, plants. Okay, but there is not the end. Okay, sebab tu kita kena ada satu lagi petunjuk di sini. Okay, go to two. Sebab tak habis lagi, kita, kita, kita tak habis lagi classify dia punya characteristics. Okay, tak tulis lagi nama. Organism. Okay, for example, animals go to two. Ah, uh, has trunk. Okay, kalau kamu nak ambil has trunk, obviously dia adalah elephant. Okay, so the second sentences. Okay, dua B. It must be vice versa. Okay, for example, kalau kamu pilih dua uh, A has trunk, so dua B no trunk. Dia selalunya kalau kita buat dikata meski, kita akan buat ayat yang negatifkan. Okay, ayat first, ayat yang menunjukkan karakteristik. Ayat yang kedua, selalunya kita akan negatif kan ayat tersebut nak bagi senang tak perlu kamu nak tulis chaptif lagi semua tu ya tapi no trunk masih lagi ada dua organism okey masih lagi ada shark dan juga praying mantis jadi tak habis lagi sebab tu itulah kita akan go to four okey sekarang kita tengok yang plants okey plants sebab kita ada dua aja Senang, okay, purple flower, orchid Ataupun kalau, kalau kamu tak nak guna purple flower Kamu nak guna karakteristik uh, cactus For example, you can write has thorns ha, Tapi tu kalau dekat sini, has thorns, cactus No thorns, orchid Okay, so it based on your creativity Okay, berdasarkan kamu punya creativity asalkan tak ada overlapping character prestige. Okay, sekarang kita tengok yang keempat. Okay, go to four. Okay, has many legs. Okay, pray mantis. No many legs. Simple. Sharp. Okay, ataupun kalau kamu tak nak guna many legs. No trunk. Untuk uh, yang keempat, kamu mungkin nak tulis uh, Live underwater So, this will be shark Ataupun live on the land ha, Praying mantis So, berdasarkan kamu punya karakteristik Tak susah sebenarnya kedai kata meski ya Sebab kamu dah belajar dalam uh, form 2 sebelum ni Okay Okay, thank you